This is Twit. You're going to be glad you're an Amazon Prime subscriber. Do you see this? Amazon Prime wants to offer one day delivery. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm dropping out. Oh, of yeah. Prime, but it's going to take a while. Yeah. They don't do one day to Italy, unfortunately. One yeah, day. no, they had announced this on their earning call, I guess, was it Friday, Thursday, yeah. something like that. And it was funny because literally then afterwards, every single question that was asked by the investors was, oh, yeah, about that one day delivery. I mean, they've essentially <laughs> said we're uh, Amazon, I guess they said we're they're trying to over the next year change entirely globally their two day prime shipping offer from around the globe to be one day to all zip codes anywhere. And they're going to spend at least $800 million trying to transfer over their uh, logistic services and their whole network to uh, work for one day. I can't wait to tell my grandchildren. I remember when it took two days to get an Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, you know I'm, that I'm ultimately really... they want it same day because honestly, the only impediment to ordering something on Amazon as opposed to the store down the, the block, is you can get it right now at the store down the block. But if you could get it same day, maybe a few hours later. See, but it's not even time God, anymore. That's the reason why I use now, Amazon now. It, yeah. It's effort. I have yeah. to walk that block to that store down there. I can just push a button and it comes to I me. I don't even push a button. I just tell Echo. I say, <laughs> Echo, I need batteries. The last time you ordered batteries, it was these. You want to order them again? Yes. What's your number? And you give it your code. And it orders them. And they come the next day. <sighs> I love Wait, you, can, I, can I do an Amazon PSA just for if there's an Amazon developer currently listening to the show? Yeah. Look, Amazon, I understand that you want to do that whole thing. If you choose slower delivery, I'll give you a dollar for digital purchases. Yeah, they say... You have an Amazon delivery day. Right, right. Like Monday's my Amazon but delivery day. But if you can day. wait, we'll give you a dollar. I never do that. I I always yeah. do that. You I do? always do that. And here's the thing, though. I want it now! I have, yes. if, if I'm ordering like 12 things... I have to make 12 separate orders so I can collect the $1 on every single item versus putting them all in one box. <laughs> if you let me put them all in one box and get credit for each one of the items in the box, that's 11 less boxes you have to send stuff in. I'm just saying. Save the I planet. always <laughs> choose to have it shipped. So this is weird. Online, it is difficult to find there's a delivery option where you can say, hey, I want you to ship this in as few boxes as possible. Yes. yes. But... I can't find it online. I have to always go to my mobile device and do it that way. And that's because I just, I don't know, I have this thing about people, like neighbors seeing me with 12 boxes and I feel <laughs> weird and like, I, I don't know, I just, I, it makes me feel bad. I'm like, I it feels like I'm flaunting wealth or something. And usually it's like small things anyway, but it makes me feel weird. It does look um, like, my God, this man has money. There's 18 like, what, Amazon yeah, what boxes doing on his... With all this? <laughs> <laughs> What's inside of there? And I, so... I find this interesting, and I'm curious, all of you, your experiences with Amazon delivery. I have not had any issues. If It says two-day shipping. I think once in my whole history of being an Amazon customer, I've had it. Uh, it took three days instead of the two days. But I saw several people on Twitter complain saying, oh, great, they're going to switch it to one day delivery. This is going to cause a bunch of issues for me. I wish they would just improve the uh, the quality and this and that and the other. A lot of people apparently have issues with whomever is delivering their packages where they don't put them on their porch or they uh, it doesn't end up showing up or they say, I knocked and no one answered. And then they're like, I was home all day because I work from home and I not I didn't hear a knock. I've not had any issues personally. Most of the time, Amazon chooses to use the postal service, the U.S. Postal Service service to deliver mine. Um, occasionally it's UPS. But I'm curious for you all, if you order two day, does it arrive in two days? Two days or less for me. Oh, well, that's because, Micah, like, you live in a big city, a big urban yeah. metropolitan region. And so it's easy to deliver to you. Right? I don't. I live in the Midwest. And... <laughs> I know. Okay, okay that was the joke. Probably. Okay, I was like, I was like, wait, you know, I don't. Maybe okay, you, yeah. maybe you live next door to an Amazon. Uh, I, fulfillment. That's probably what it is. That's, I I'm need thinking, to look around. There's many a time where our Amazon deliveries have been delayed. I ordered the before I left for vacation. I bought I bought a new ThinkPad and I ordered a uh, one terabyte M.2 drive from Western Digital. I'm, I'm in Hawaii and I got an email saying. We don't know what happened. The carrier lost it. And, <laughs> oh, uh, good. What? Uh, it was supposed to come the next day. I thought, that's amazing. And it didn't come at all. And then it turns out 
you can't just check a box saying, well, I want my money back or send me another one. Nope, nope. You have to call no, you have them. To go, you have to go to the Amazon like messenger <laughs> like thing an and mess with somebody. This happens. So I live in Brooklyn. So most of my Amazon deliveries, probably not out of 10, can get there in like one day. Or I often do Amazon now because I'm a heathen who needs products immediately. Now! I'll get them within an hour <laughs> or two. So, such a um, good name. It's a two-year-old yeah. name. Now, mommy, it now. <laughs> I order my Whole Foods groceries and they arrive in one and a half hours during a snowstorm. And I'm like, I hate myself, but I love this. Um, but one out of every 10 times, I probably make an Amazon order. It'll get, I, I think the post, U.S. Postal Service has a vendetta against me because my stuff will just get lost somehow or never arrive. Or it'll say it got delivered. But then if I check the tracking thing, it'll be in like, I don't know, upstate New York somewhere. Never got taken from its facility. So I just message the Amazon little chat Yeah, but you can't. Always, that's the only way you can out. do it, right, is you have to. Uh... Yeah, there used to be a button you could click that says my package got lost or more often for in New York, my package got taken from my Stop doorstep right. by right. a neighbor. But, you know. Now they I'm have never moving to a big city. There, there <laughs> is there is a more effective way to complain to Amazon than going through their help screen, though. What? It's Twitter. Seriously, if you they respond to tweets. Oh, they, but they, I can't. I can't be that person. So quickly. Oh, yeah. So quickly. You need to set up another account that's just like your first name underscore Amazon complaints, and then no <laughs> one will know. Okay, It'll be that's yours. acceptable because my. My one thing that annoys me is whenever I see people with like blue check marks on Twitter using it to like complain oh, about their do. Delta we service do. or complain about their Amazon bags. I'm like, come on, you know that you're going to get a great, uh, you know that you're just using the fact <laughs> you're that you're just, a check report. Yeah, you're just so. doing it for that.